Hey there, Vanessa Deberle here, and I'm here to give you some simple tips for new beginners in YouTube. And I um, just recently found a video about some settings on YouTube, and I had researched this, and I went through all the settings when I first set my channel up, and I went ahead and watched the video, and sure enough, not all of the settings were there. Um, you're, you'll find that the more you do something, um, your knowledge increases and maybe what you understood five or six months ago won't be the same as now. So I'm just going to go through these settings and make sure, you know, go through and make sure you have all these settings in place. What you're going to do is go to your channel on the left hand side. See here where it says channel and we're going to go right under where it says upload default. So once you go into your YouTube channel, go to the left side, go under channel and now go under upload defaults. We're just going to go through a couple things in here. I was confused at first about where I can put my description for my video that will be static, that it's always there. And when I first put this in here, I wasn't sure what I was putting in the description. I thought it was a description to go with my YouTube channel, which it does say that, but every time you upload a video, it pops up. So it's really handy because you can put your basic description in here that you want on every single one of your videos. So as you can see right here where, where the description is, I have um, my basic description. So if I want them to see my social media sources, I'm going to um, it's all here. I don't have to keep on uploading this. And the neat thing is if I want to change it, I go here to change it and it will change on all of my videos at once. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. Now, one of the things that you can do differently on each one is at the top, you can add a description. So I actually will save room at the top of my video and I'll just put a couple sentences at the very top here um, where I'll put a specific description or some keywords that go with the video that I'm presenting. So that's where you put your static description. It stays there. You don't have to keep on finding it in your notepad or your OneNote or wherever you were keeping it. I had mine in a Word document. I kept on copying and pasting it and putting it in. So that really saves a lot of time. I leave my title blank because I, every time I upload something, I have a title that I put on there. So I pretty much leave that blank. Um, look at your privacy setting. I have mine on public because I am posting a video every single day and mine are public. But if you tend to have a lot of unlisted or private videos, then go ahead and put that as unlisted or private because you don't want to make a mistake and put something public that you didn't want out there. Um, like I said, I'm pretty much posting public. So for me, that works. Now this here, license. What kind of license do you want? You can have a standard YouTube license and that means YouTube has access to all of your videos or you can have a Creative Commons attribution license and that means you will allow other YouTubers to share your information. So if it doesn't bother you, if you have something, a uh, YouTube video that you made and somebody else wants to share it and introduce you and then show your video on theirs and that doesn't bother you then go ahead and mark that so it's really a preference for you now the rest of it down here um, do you want to allow comments most of us in the beginning we say yes because we get so excited that we have these comments and yes 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 i am hearing that you're going to have a lot of naysayers and maybe people that will comment negative things if you start having that problem you can turn your comments off so don't get caught up in arguing with people or getting upset or anything like that just you have the ability to come in and turn it off if you need to. All right. Um, so that's it basically under your upload defaults. Now we're going to go all the way back up here to the top. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. And oh, I guess we don't have to save this page. That page doesn't have to be saved. I don't see anything. All right. So let's go down to the next section, which is branding. You do need to save it. It's up in the corner. All right, I see it. All right, let's go back. We're going to cancel that. That's because I have my video smaller. There you go. It's up in the corner. Right-hand corner. See that? Good thing I... There you go. Save it. I have my screen smaller, so it was hidden. All right, now we're going to go to the second part of channel, and we're going to go under branding. Now, branding, I do have a video on this about watermarking. If you go into my 
the page on my channel and look under YouTube tip, video tips on a playlist and I go into detail how you can set up your branding but basically it's a watermark that will show up on every one of your videos so if you notice on my videos in the bottom right hand corner I have a subscribe button I have that set up so people can click it and subscribe you can put your logo there or anything else if you want them to maybe go look at something else another video you could put a little picture there that tells them that whatever you want to put there and it will show up on the entire video I have mine on the entire video you can also click this and change it you can customize it or just have it at the end but the the important thing is to know that it's there and that you can play around with that and change it all you want and like I said check out my video it goes into detail on how to do that and then we have one more section we didn't have to save that because I didn't really change anything. Um, the advanced section of setting your YouTube channel up. Now here, you're gonna put your channel keywords. So it may not be your video keywords, but it's all the keywords that in general cover everything that you're covering. So I went ahead and came up with a list. And like I said, I used to, uh, go in and copy and paste it to all of my different videos and what I do now is I have my channel keywords that are there for every video and then I add different ones that are specific to just that video when I upload it now another thing that I want to point out and right here where it says channel recommendations you want to make sure where it says allow my channel to appear in other channels recommendations of course you want other people to recommend your channel you want YouTube to recommend your YouTube videos so definitely click that that is a good thing now I keep my number of people that are subscribed to my channel I keep it visible I have no shame if I my numbers are low everybody has to start somewhere so I keep it there I think it's exciting to watch and see it grow um, one other thing here that I was advised to do and I don't have my number here because I didn't want to put it on the video but Google Analytics property tracking idea you want to make sure you put that in there now your first question probably is is where do I find it I have made a video showing you how to find your property tracking idea and this is just going to help Google with the analytics for your channel now there's also another one that I use that I actually just upgraded and it's called vid IQ it is so awesome I was using the free version and it was doing basically what Facebook analytics does it just showed you um, your top 10 videos how much time people are sharing uh, watching the average time and stuff like that well it's really cool when you use vidIQ you can um, upgrade to the pro account it's just 750 a month if you want to pay for a year or you can pay ten dollars a month one month at a time and you can actually bring up other people's videos and then off to the side you can see the analytics on their video and this helps you especially as being being a new youtuber you can go in and see what kind of search uh, keywords are they're using what kind of titles do they have you don't want to go in and copy people but you definitely want to see what the trends are and what people are asking for and what are they searching for and then even if you take a topic and share the same topic you want to put your own spin on it and a lot of times that's what I do and like I said when I go and watch something or I learn something and I turn around and teach it to you not only am I helping you learn that same topic but it helps it to resonate and stick with me as well so again the Google Analytics property tracking ID look below and there's another video there that will tell you how to find that I like to keep my videos short so I didn't want to spend a lot of time showing you that as well on this video um, until we meet again have a great day